This video will show you how to import a new song into MediaShout. Right now I'm using just a blank script. Um, there are no elements present um, here in the middle for the script. I am also using the um, standard workplace view so that I have all of these elements over here on the side. Now to add a song to MediaShout you'll want to click on the songs tab. From here you can search for certain songs, um, you can choose only some type of group of songs that are there, um, but in this example we want to add a song. Now probably the most common way to do this will be to do it from scratch. Uh, there's also other options from files which have to be formatted a particular way to work and there's also PowerPoint slides that you could import. Um, however, based on my experiences, if there's a misspelling or you know, typo or formatting problem, in the PowerPoint slide, you won't be able to change it through MediaShout. So it's best to either do from scratch or from files. Um, but we're gonna go with the from scratch method. And it comes up with a new song wizard that basically walks you through the process of adding a song to the MediaShout library. Um, so we'll click on next. Um, now in this example I've created a template um, that has a black background, the words are centered, the words are white, um, and that template is called Black Lyric. Um, there's other one, I created a test one, and some of them are built into Media Shout. Um, but hopefully you have a template that is, um, that is already there. If not, um, we can also set one later. But we'll click next. Um, for this, next you put in the song title. So we'll say, Your Love Never Fails. Um, Media Shout, if you click in the queue name after you've typed the song title, it would automatically populate um, the queue name for you. And the song ID um, is one that you can put in, or um, Media Shout will just generate one for you. And then from the screen, we can click Next. Next is the author of the song. However, this is not necessary information. Um, it's good to put in there for copyright info, um, but I'm not sure right off the top of my head who the author is or the copyright information. Um, but we can group this song, and I know what I want this to be in my contemporary group of songs. So after clicking next, now we add the lyrics of the actual song. Um, for this, we have verse one, um, and there's all these different types of what MediaShout calls stanzas to add to the song. So we'll start with verse one. And pretty much this is all of verse one. So we'll copy that. And I've actually found these lyrics ahead of time, um, just based at looking at them, they looked, they looked right. Um, so I just wanted to highlight all of verse one copy and go back to media shout and paste. Now here you want to leave you want the whole song or the whole verse to show here. Now we'll click add stanza and then this adds it to the actual song at this point. Next we'll want to pull in the chorus and copy this. Now we don't want to add verse 2, so we need to click the drop down and choose verse 1. And then again, paste this. And again, I don't like to leave any spaces because I want to do the formatting later. So we'll add this stanza. Next is to do verse 2. Copy. And then we have to flip the drop down back to verse 2 to the verse option, and two is automatically populated there for us. We don't have to choose it, and then choose paste. And again, I want to remove any spacing that's there. And then lastly is the bridge. And we'll copy this one, and change this to the bridge, and you'll see it changes to a one, and then paste that. So at this point we have all the parts of the song in there. Next, 
is to click on the next button and now there's actual a play order now if your verses aren't very long or you don't really do, need to do a whole lot of formatting and you have everything split up over here because it's nice and short um, you can do the play order here um, basically you know I like to add a blank slide at the very beginning so I can click the plus sign so there's a blank slide um, after the bridge I want to add another blank slide and again if you wanted to add choruses again like after the bridge we can do that um, but we can also edit this in another area so we'll go ahead and click finish here so at least all of our song information is added to media shout and we can add another new song if we'd like or we'll click close and in this instance we'll click close now i want to right click on the new song that was added to the library which I had tagged it as a contemporary group song, so that's what's showing. And I only have two songs in this group right now. So right-clicking on your level never fails, I want to edit the song. Now I want to be on the foreground tab. And in this, the cue of the song would be the arrangement of how it's laid out. So you'll see here that verse one um, is probably a little long and if you've listened to the song before, you know that it sort of breaks in the middle. So what I want to do here is at the end of this line, go to this, what looks like a little I with a triangle over top of it and insert a page break. Now what this does is it'll separate verse 1 into two slides but it's still categorized as verse 1. This just helps to maintain the flow and order of the song. And when you put in new and when you're formatting these verses you want to make sure it has sort of a consistent flow to it. Um, So basically we just need to play with the formatting a little bit. You could make this line just one, um, but once people get acquainted with the song, you may not have to do that anymore. So I'm just going to leave it as is here. Uh, we need to do the same thing for verse 2, is to break it up. And after this one, we want to do a new page break. And really you can think of it as this would be a point where someone would breathe and have a chance you know, before they go into the next part of the verse. So again, verse two, probably do it like that. Now we get to the chorus, and again, it looks pretty long, and this one actually will turn out pretty well because the words do not go, basically fill up all the way across the page and have to go to a new line. Um, so we'll go but joy comes in the morning, and then insert a page break after bridge one. And this probably pretty much sums up our, our song in terms of how long it is. Other thing to, to look at here, um, you do want to go through your verses and choruses, you know, you know, all your parts of your song. Make sure that they're spelled right, that they're formatted correctly. Um, and again, I'm not putting a lot of time in this because I'm just showing you as a video. Um, but this is all, the foreground will be all of the text that's there. So we'll take the cue back up. Um, if you highlight the word cue um, and you are on the, by default, Media Shout is on the simple view. If you're in the advanced view, um, you can actually change, not under content, but format here, what the actual font is that's being used, the color, the size, if it's bold, underline, um, any type of text effects such as shadow or outline, um, and then also about the header and footer which I set those to don't show you know all the time. Um, and this is also part of the template that you can build too. Secondly, if you want to adjust what the background looks like, 
Um, I have it set right now just to be a black background. Um, but we can change this to, basically you would browse to whatever media file that you wanted to be the background of the song. Um, which I'm going to have to try and find. I'm not really sure right now where the My Shout folder would be, unless I need, just need to go in here and browse. Which it doesn't look like it's in that folder for me. Okay, anyways. So you would browse to the video that you would find. Um, there is a shortcut for the My Shout um, folder on the desktop of the church computer. So if you go to desktop, you should be able to find the My Shout folder and then browse to any type of videos or graphics. Um, again, I left mine on color. You could also change it to be, you know, some type of visual that goes behind the lines and you can preview what it looks like um, in here as well. Um, another thing is to, if you use a video, um, you know, can see what that looks like in here. And you could also preview the video as well as what it would look like um, and how, you know, obviously it'd be a little bit smoother than this, but uh, it just kind of depends on your computer. But I'm going to change this back to being a color. And again, if I'm highlighted on Q here, I can go over to the uh, right side here, look at content, and change the actual color of the slide if I need to. Um, other things here for if you click on data, you can specify what category that the song should belong in or if it should belong in multiple categories. I did forget to mention on the foreground, which is our text for every slide, um, is you do want to make sure that it's centered, you know, vertically in the slide. Um, which means, you know, top to bottom. And a lot of times when you copy and paste, you get these extra lines that are below the words. So see that one was adjusted. This one doesn't have it. Looking at the chorus, that one's good. That one's good. Looking at verse 2. And once you do enough of these, you, you sort of are able to catch um, when you have extra lines and such in here. So after all of this is done, we've done all these settings, we can click Apply. So it's going to apply it all to this song. Um, if it's part of a queue or part of a template and you want to save all those changes, um, you could do that um, if you've highlighted the queue tab here. Um, and you could save this actually to your template so that you know all of your other songs, if you apply this template um, to new songs you add, they would look the same. Um, then from here, we can click OK. And so now your Love Never Fails is formatted correctly. Um, it's in order. So now all we need to do to add it to our script is just to click and drag it over. Um, and the Media Shout will load it in. And depending on what type of um, view you have, full script um, typically will show all the slides that fall under your Lenovo Fails, give these little uh, thumbnails. Um, but for me, I'm fairly familiar with a lot of the songs that happen. And plus, uh, when you look in the compact view, you, you get the text part of it. So you can see, um, you know, as you will go along, what things look like. And they'll show up in the, in the viewer window here to the right. Um, and by pressing the space bar, it will actually cycle through all the slides for you. Um, and also the, the viewer on the bottom shows you what's coming up next um, so you have an idea. Um, so this is how you import a song into Media Shout and change some of the properties. Um, if you have any questions on that feel free to um, ask me or email me. Thanks.